Hey guys, welcome back to the Burst Barrel Kitchen. I'm Chef Marco Nicoli, and today we're gonna make one of my favorite recipes. I like to look for a bird that's like three to five pounds, something like this. While we're cooking this, we're actually also gonna be doing a pan sauce. So our friends over at Smithy, uh, cast iron, make these great products that can go directly onto the fire or on the grill. Here are the ingredients for the sauce. So the first thing we're gonna do is a whole white onion. We're gonna do a whole stick of butter. I love thyme, it's like my favorite herb, so I use it all the time. So you're making a, a bouquet is what they call it, and you could do it with multiple herbs, but by tying this together while you're cooking, you're gonna get all the flavors of this beautiful herb, but then you can quickly remove it at the end. So this is just a nice flake salt, uh, nice cracked pepper. And then we're gonna use a little wine. Essentially, you're looking for an eyeball of about a cup of wine in there. So this is all gonna kind of melt down, marry together as this chicken is hanging over it, dripping down into the smithy. So what we're gonna do now is I got the grill really cranking. We're going to just put this smithy right down on the grill grates. Ultimately, what we're trying to do is melt this butter, kind of caramelize these onions, and then this wine will also reduce. And this will be the base of our sauce. Okay, so I'm looking for like, I don't know, three to four half cloves like this. And we're just gonna put those in. And then I'm gonna close this and let it kind of get real warm in there. And we'll come check on this in about two to three minutes. Now we got this beautiful bird sitting right here. What we're gonna do is rub it with a little bit of salt and pepper. And really that's it. Um, I'm gonna throw these extra herbs and maybe one of these cloves of garlic inside the cavity. So we'll just stick one of these in there. We'll bunch these up and stick these in there. And honestly, you're gonna get so much flavor from the, from the actual wood that we're cooking with or the charcoal that we're gonna be cooking with that I don't think it needs a ton of extra flavor. Now to this hanging technique, okay? So what we're gonna do is I got butcher's twine, which is a must have in your kitchen, okay? And we're gonna cut out maybe two feet. So all we're gonna do is take each leg and we're gonna tie a knot and then feed this underneath here. And feed this one under here. Okay, now we have those tied and this is what we'll use to tie to the grill. I'll show you that. Then we're gonna turn this bird and we're just gonna take and cut a little teeny um, slit. Essentially what we're gonna do is hide this wing in here, okay? So we're gonna take this knife and we're just gonna do a little slit. And then you're gonna feed that wing in there like that. So I'll see you out by the grill and we'll finish this up. All right guys, I got this beautiful chicken that we just prepped in the kitchen. I'm gonna set this down and what we're gonna do from here, we're gonna lift this lid up. We got this sauce ripping. The birch grill has a beautiful little hook under here that you can hang your uh, meat from, which is what we're gonna do for this cook because I want all those drippings, again, to fall into our pan sauce. But so we're gonna go under here and we're just gonna hang it just like that. And we're gonna leave this for, let's call it 30 minutes. And what you're gonna get is all that nice applewood smoke kind of burning off. You're gonna crisp up the outside. And then after the outside gets really crispy, then we'll bring the pan back in and finish it with the sauce. Have you seen a more beautiful sight in all of your life than this hanging chicken? So now what we're gonna do, throw on the gloves. We're gonna drop this pan sauce again right underneath the chicken. And I'll just kind of stir this in. We're gonna let this go a little bit longer than usual because we're trying to capture all this flavor from the chicken. It's gonna take a little longer than 45 minutes. If you want a quick cook, just leave it hanging. Don't worry about the drippings. But it takes longer because you're kind of directing the heat around it now. So we're just gonna let this be and keep doing what it's doing for maybe another hour, hour and a half. All right guys, we got this beautiful sauce. It's perfect. These caramelized onions are gonna be great to garnish with at the end. But I think we're there, like this golden skin. I think it's a wrap. So, you know what, all we can do now is a little mic drop. That's what we got. Let's go finish, let's go have some dinner.